day everyone! Today, we will learn about totalitarianism and World War II. What is totalitarianism? Totalitarianism is a system where the government controls every aspect of a citizen's life. One of the changes that happened after World War I is the rise of totalitarianism. People of some nations were made to believe that when they support leaders who promote social equality and reform, they will have a better life. These leaders often use propaganda, techniques like spreading of information, ideas, and even rumors to convince people to support their policies. At the beginning of World War II, totalitarianism became synonymous with oppression by an absolute single-party government. Now, let's look at some examples of totalitarian leaders. One of the totalitarian leaders is Joseph Stalin of Russia. During his term, he implemented the Five-Year Plan, which aimed to make Russia an industrial country. This policy replaced the new economic policy implemented by Lenin. Under this program, the production of heavy machinery quadrupled and the oil production doubled. This policy was matched with collectivization. This was a system that eliminates private farms and puts these lands under government control. However, workers and peasants were not treated well and received low wages. Stalin also exterminated those who refused to follow his rules. They were sent to forced labor camps in Siberia. He rose to power in Italy. He is Benito Mussolini, whose leadership practices were influenced by Nietzsche, Pareto, and Sorel. Nietzsche believed in master morality, which means that something is good when desired or approved by the master. Pareto believed that no one can be made better off without making someone else worse off, while Sorel believed that the future was what men chose to make it and that social order can be attained through revolution. Applying these principles, Benito Mussolini was known as the Il Duce, the leader, who supports the idea of Spazio Vitale. This gave Italy the authority to conquer nations which were viewed as inferior. He also made laws by decree, which meant that his orders became laws. He also created the secret police to ensure that his policies are being followed and to prevent conspiracies. Another famous totalitarian leader is Adolf Hitler. Similar to Mussolini's Spazio Vitale, he emphasized the concept of Lebensraum, living space for the Aryan race. Hitler used politics to expand the Nazi party. He promised to establish a new Germany with nationalistic and militaristic pride. They gave hope to the people of Germany who were experiencing unemployment, hunger, and poverty. Part of the objectives of the Nazi party was to create the Third Great Empire. And to do this, they established concentration camps for the Jews, homosexuals, and other ethnic groups which they consider as inferior. The Nuremberg Laws were passed that removed the German citizenship of the Jews. He also expanded the army of Germany and created the new air force. One of the distressing events in history is the Holocaust. Jews and other people who were viewed as inferior were sent to concentration camps. Some were killed in gas chambers. These leaders, Stalin, Mussolini, and Hitler, were the leaders of three nations that took part in World War II. Now let's look at the major groups of nations that participated in World War II. We have the Axis, composed of Germany, Italy, and Japan, and the Allied Powers, Britain, Russia, and the United States. Let's look at the series of events of the Second Hitler was declared Chancellor of Germany, and Nazis started making the concentration camps. In 1935, the Nuremberg Laws were passed. 1938, Unification of Germany and Austria. The unification of Germany and Austria was a violation of the Treaty of Versailles. 1939, Germany invaded Poland. This caused Britain and France to declare war. 
1940, Germany invaded Belgium, Denmark, Luxembourg, Norway, France, and Netherlands. Germany attacked England, and Japan joined the Axis. 1941, Germany invaded Russia. Germany and Italy declared war on the United States. Japan attacked the Pearl Harbor. U.S. declared war on Japan. 1943. German troops surrendered at the Battle of Stalingrad. Italy surrendered to Allies. 1944. D-Day. Allied troops invaded France and defeated the German troops. Japanese forces defeated near the Philippines. In the Battle of the Bulge, Germany was defeated. 1945. Russian army reached Berlin. Germany surrendered to the Allies, ending the war in Europe. The United States dropped the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Japan surrendered, ending the war in the Pacific. 40 million civilians died during the war. Some even say that it's higher as the military forces who also died in battle. These make World War II the deadliest military conflict in history. Here are the other effects of the war. Formation of international organizations like the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, the Warsaw Pact, and the United Nations. Establishment of the European Economic Community, also known as the Common Market, which later on became part of the European Union. And the creation of Israel in 1948 through the United Nations. What are the other effects of World War II that you could think of? What lessons can we get from the two major wars? Are there really winners in a war like this? Share your answers to your co-learners or during your online classes. That's all for today. 